All right, everybody, I'm going to show you our first Adobe Photoshop project, which is called Personal Collage. So the post is here. The directions say after completing exercise one and exercise two, I've checked them both off for you, and you've completed the digital imaging slideshow with the questions and turned that in, you're going to begin working with this project. The link here will walk you through the process of what you're going to be doing. Uh, there is going to be obviously this video that I'm recording to be able to go back and look at the process via a video. And this particular image here is going to be something that you're going to be showing me with the photos that you're going to be saving prior to actually starting the project in the Photoshop program. So let me go through the process of showing you what and how we're going to go about it. The link here again that you're going to take a look at does have a nice example at the top that shows this project that we're going to be creating. So we're going to be looking at, for found images via Google Advanced Image Search, which we've just learned about, uh, and the importance of finding high resolution photos to use for your project. Uh, we are going to be using the techniques from exercise one and exercise two and putting that together to create again this personal collage. So the directions go over uh, what we're going to be doing, which I've mentioned. Again, we need 10 to 12 separate photos. All of these should come from Google Advanced Image Search. Uh, we are going to be working with layers. We're going to be working with the Move tool. We might need to be able to obviously make different kinds of selections and refine those selections like we've done in these exercises. Uh, we are going to be obviously thinking about this carefully as we're putting the pictures together, maybe the sizes that you select, the more important ones are going to be larger, smaller ones are going to be maybe less important to you. Scale and emphasis, these two particular principles of photography are going to be a major role in how I'm looking at this part uh, of the assignment for grading and how you're doing with the techniques. There is a, a slideshow that you could take a look at here about the uh, principles of scale and emphasis if you'd like to. I give a list, uh, not only can you come up with things here, but uh, just as a list basically of things that maybe you could pick from for the photographs that you want to use. Uh, once you know kind of what you want, you're going to be doing a bunch of searches for this uh, via Google Advanced Image Search, which is our first step. So here you're going to be going out to this particular site. I did include a direct link to that site. It's going to look like this. It's got some material here that's going to be important. Uh, all the images must have a background. Do not look or save for photos with transparent backgrounds. Again, we are learning this in the Photoshop program, how to remove the background. Uh, I'm going to be looking to see how those particular pictures have been removed, how well you did. That's part of what we are learning in this class from exercise two. Uh, maybe refining the edges, those kind of things. And it would be a good idea to make a folder for this class, obviously, uh, and I think a lot of people have done that, and maybe a specific folder for this particular project called Personal Collage. So in this example here, I'm searching for Michael Jordan, uh, and I'm also trying to narrow down the image size. I want to find things in the dropdown that are larger than two megapixels. So when you go to your search site, You'll be able to type out whatever it is that you're looking for here. So Michael Jordan was one of the searches. And then the size is going to be larger than two megapixels. And you'll hit your advanced search at the bottom. And you'll come up with a bunch of different kind of photos. And again, as you come across these in the example, we took a look at these are not pictures to save. But we're going to want to click on these smaller pictures that are here to represent the larger version. Down in the corner, you see here it says it's 1800 pixels by 1799, so almost exactly the same size as a square. This is the type of a photograph that you would right click and save directly to your particular folder on your Google Drive. So if we go here, we'll go to Google Drive, we'll go to our digital photography folder. And inside of our, oops, our digital photography folder, I have several folders for the years, but we'll go ahead and open this up. We'll make a new folder called Personal Collage. And we'll go ahead and we'll open that folder up. 
hit it twice, and then we'll leave the name the same. This is a JPEG file, perfect, and we'll save it in there, and that one is done. So you would do that to find your uh, photos that you need using advanced image search through Google, again, to get higher quality resolution pictures that are going to be uh, what we're going to be needing that will be at least two megapixels or larger, okay? Once you have all of those done and saved in your personal collage folder like we're seeing here, you have thumbnail views that we can take a look at. Call me over so I can see what you have for your photos to make sure you're doing this correctly. And then we're ready to move on to and work with these in the Photoshop program.